Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. Let's talk about freedom of speech. This is our First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. First Amendment does not mean you can't be fired for certain expressions if those expressions bother your employer. For example, would a McDonald's employee who greeted the customers rudely, maybe called them fatties or mocked them for eating fast food, would it be a violation of the First Amendment denying that employee his freedom of expression to fire that employee? Of course not. Likewise, President Trump never attempted nor advocated for Congress to enact any law prohibiting the free speech of the NFL players who were kneeling during our national anthem. In fact, aren't we lucky to live in a country where the president, the chief executive, can express his opinion? And that opinion is just an opinion. It's not an edict, a dictate, or a death sentence for people who disagree with him. President Trump did not illegalize freedom of speech by dictate either. He didn't throw the players who turned their backs on our flag in jail. If this were really about freedom of speech, the left would have been in a tizzy when the NFL pl banned players from wearing decals on their helmets to honor the Dallas police officers who were murdered by a black nationalist. The left would have been outraged when a player was fined for wearing purple cleats to bring awareness to domestic violence since that player's mother was killed by domestic violence. The left would have been screaming for justice when players were banned from honoring the victims of the 9-11 terror attacks on their cleats. But no, 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 no. The left didn't care about any of that. None of that qualified to the left as freedom of speech. Well, you can't have it both ways. Either it's okay for the NFL to regulate decorum and expression of their employees, and don't forget the players are the employees of a private business, or else it's not okay. But the hypocrisy of cherry picking which expression you want protected and which expression you want banned that betrays the sincerity of what you claimed you were protesting in the first place. And that leaves us with this question. How many people are talking about police brutality after these disrespectful demonstrations anyway? Yeah, that's what I thought. And that's my final point tonight. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.